this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you feeling today? I hope you're feeling good because today our quote of the day is a bad day for your ego is a great day for your soul by Jillian Michaels. What is the ego? Well, the English word ego is Latin is the Latin word for I. And when someone talks about their ego, it means that they are focused on themselves or on their I. And this type of focus will influence their thoughts, their emotions, their motives, and their behaviors. When acting from the ego, it means that one is acting from self-interest, focusing on what I want, what I need, and what I have. When we talk of the ego, it is the I that is not connected with the true self, which is connected with the divine. It is the imagined self that thinks it, it, it helps keep us alive through self-preservation. But sometimes the same thing that is good for our survival, our self-preservation, that we see as something that can assist our survival, can actually hinder or inhibit it. The ego can only see the world through the person's previous experiences and beliefs and their identity and their biases and preferences. It is not easy to step aside from one's own perspective and see things from another person's perspective. There is really no way for us to process information except from our personal frame of reference unless we open ourselves up to what is real and that we are actually one rather than separate people, and that we are more alike than different from each other. But the ego keeps us in the mindset that we have to fight for ourselves, and that other people most often are a threat to us. When we think through our ego mind, then we are separating ourselves from others, and are thinking only about our desires, what we are doing, what we are, what other people think about us, and how things are going for us. This self-absorption uh, removes us from a good and happy life. The most tricky part of the ego is that it gives us a false sense of confidence. It gives us an unrealistic sense of superiority, making us think that our opinion is the absolute truth, which it is not. It is a self-image created by our thoughts, which are nothing more than illusions that we allow to influence our life. All of our choices, our thoughts, and our behaviors come from the ego if we let them. And this distorts our view of reality and prevents us from knowing our true nature, that we are a part of the unified field and that we are all connected. But deep down inside us, we know that this ego is really masking our true self. We lose our identity to it because it is the easiest way to live our life. To renounce the ego is hard and goes against our survival instincts. But the never the net, nevertheless, once we give up our ego, we become free to live life as we truly desire in a way that is in line with who we, we really are and of service to everything and everyone around us. When you live from your ego, you are always in fear that you will lose your special identity when you do things for others and not only for your own benefit. Many research studies show that people are biased to view themselves more positively than other people. But true freedom happens when you renounce your ego and start to live your life from a place of connection with other people. When the work you do is very engaging for you and when you are feeling good and are free to be yourself without worry and when you are in the flow state during meditation, massage, music, listening to music, or, or doing exercise of any sort, then your ego is put aside. And when your ego is set aside, then you are not concerned about who you are, what you want, or your personal interest from any consequences of any situations. You are not solely focused on yourself. This state of not only focusing on yourself and your needs and wants and desires will make you happier, whereas Focusing only on yourself usually will make you depressed or behave in ways that can harm other people. The ego is also very limiting. It limits your options and possibilities to what you can or can't do or what you can or can't become. Even though it gives you a sense that you can do and become your best 
It is limited. It is a limited best and far from your real best in every field of life. The ego seeks to divide and separate your, you from other people. While really, to be your best and achieve your greatness, you must become one with other people and help serve and heal other people. As I said in the last life coaching video, when you follow your purpose and do your work for its own sake because you feel that you want to do it and not for any benefits that it will bring you, then you are happiest. Then you have left anxiousness and fear away. When you live like this, you renounce your ego, stopping it from controlling your life and telling you to do only for your own personal gain, wealth, attention, or fame. When you renounce your ego, this is when you start to control your life. When we were children, we were not scared to express our true nature. We were not afraid to say what we thought, to show our true feelings, and to feel certain feelings that are not considered acceptable. As children, we lived in the present moment until we learned how to adapt our behaviors to other people and different situations so that we would feel uh, worthy and accepted. Our ego, our ego grew as we left our childhood and began to take over our mind and our life. We began to put on a show to be everything but our true selves in order to be liked and accepted by others. And this ego is very tempting in that it promises that you are special and different and better than others. But when you think this way and figure out that everyone is special at something and that we are all pretty much the same, then there is a big letdown and a lot of frustration and maybe even depression. With this ego, we take things personally, even when they are not personal. We let things control our future as if every relationship or every experience will end up the same because the last one ended up this way. So past disappointments become future disappointments as well. A life that comes from the ego and is built on social connections, social status, or possessions is a life that may be briefly satisfying, but overall, it will make you feel empty. When we die, all of these physical things disappear anyway, and only what we left behind in people's minds and hearts and how we treated people and the service that we provided to others, whether through love or friendship or business, is what is left behind. A life built on ego will bring out anger, which clouds your judgment. You will not learn from past mistakes, and you will not become your best. You will be wasting your time and your life. It is important to understand that we already possess everything that the ego promises to give us. The ego will not let you rest in search of a way to leave your mark in this world as a legacy, but you already possess this legacy within you through every contact that you create with other people and every person you meet and influence in a positive way and through patience towards other people and a smile and words of encouragement. These already leave your legacy for you. You are already immortal anyway because your soul is immortal. You should strive to become a better human being and leave a good mark on as many people as you meet. But you do not need to fear not achieving the feat of leaving a good legacy behind you because when you aim to do your best and be your best most of the time, then you are already leaving the greatest legacy for people who, who met you and are close to you behind. When you are doing your very best, there is no such thing as a failure, not at leaving a legacy and not at anything. If you listen to your ego, you will, you will feel that you are never enough. There is always someone doing something better than you. And no matter how much you will have, you will still want more because there is nothing that will ever satisfy you or be enough. But when you do things for the sake of doing them, because you want to do them and like to do them, then you will release all your tension from becoming better than others and from achieving more and more because you are already now enough. When you renounce your ego, you will live your life on purpose and in peace of mind. And when you have peace of mind, then you also have joy. You do not need any external acknowledgement. In fact, the best way to improve yourself is at times to look foolish in the face of others. The end of the ego is self-acceptance. When you love yourself as you are right now, without need to change who you are for another person's acceptance, this is the death of your ego and the rebirth of your life. 
The ego wants us to stay in familiar territory, but personal development to grow out of the me, I, and mine state and into union with all, with all that is, is really what will get you to the life of your dreams. We all have the capacity to consciously change our lives and take responsibility for how we are living our life currently and how we want to live our life. This means moving away from the ego that says to us that we cannot change and return to our true higher self, but we can change and improve and become better versions of ourselves when we decide to do that. Remember that whenever you feel better or less than anyone else, your ego is leading your thoughts and behaviors and you have the capacity to change this and let your true self lead instead. When you renounce your ego, your I and mine and me, you unite with love and this is how to live the best life and truly leave the best legacy you can. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move you, your life towards a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what is pushing me to achieve my dreams? Is it because I think that I am not good enough as I am right now? Or is it because I think that I am better than others? If your motivation is that you have this will inside of you that must come forth and show itself to the world, even if you never gain anything personal from it, then you have renounced your ego and are on the track to leading the life of your dreams. So as usual, I recommend writing down this question in your answer to it and any introspect introspective thoughts that you may have in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure you're leading your life on purpose. And to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I renounce my ego and let my true self shine through. I am perfect as I am and so is everyone and everything around me. I renounce my ego and everything else around me. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because we the rep life. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And please also visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you.